Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid, and a progress report on the, on the, uh, frigate. I have worked out my, uh, my, um, uh, lockdown and code red stuff, and I've done a little more work on the, oh, come on, there we go, I've done a little more work on the interiors. Eee. So you take this elevator down from the um, bridge, takes you to the transporter room, and this way takes you out to the void. Oh, and there's a lockdown door here, so when the ship goes into lockdown, this door automatically closes. And there's another one here. Uh, this one takes you down to officer's quarters. Am I moving? No. Okay. Uh, here on the right is the officer's rec room. It's the old rec room. I need to update the uh, table, or I need to steal one from the uh, Ember class Corvette. And here I have the uh, the actual officers' quarters. Uh, that is the ship wide lock ship wide lockdown. I must have had a um, activation module active when I hit that. That needs to be prettied up. But the officers get windows two windows even. This is my old officer's quarters. I need to wire these up for, um, and they get a bathroom. I need to wire these up for, um, come on brain, work with me. Why did that work? I need to wire these up with, for, um, red lights. Emergency. Code red lights. And also give them doors. In fact, I'm really thinking about ripping these out and doing something different. Anyway, now here's the officer's mess, which is the new mess style with the machines that spit out the food. Without the kitchen installed, and that just goes out to the void as well. Alright, and if we go back this way... I need to put in starboard and larboard and forward and aft indicators. Uh, airlock, which I had a horrible problem with. When I pasted it, I who knows what I did, but it was wrong. But here's a uh, airlock template. I have a video or two showing how I built that. Nice dark hallway going into the air, into and out of the airlock. Let's see, and over here I have elevator down to living quarters, elevator down to engineering, which has no sign. It needs one. Elevator to the restroom, except without an elevator. I have one of these restrooms. And escape pod. So this just takes us to the escape pod. And hit the button. And eject button and be flung into space. Alright, and that's basically all I've done. There's nothing in the... Take the elevators down. The elevators work and go to where they're supposed to, but there's nothing there. Now that's basically what I've been working on uh, since I saw you last. And uh, I haven't wired this escape pod up yet. Not sure how I'm going to do that. Maybe take a branch off of the... off of the um, living quarter or officer's quarters down that way? Don't know, because these should line up. Anyway, uh, here's going to be the... Living quarters are going to be on this floor, and and uh, maintenance on this one. Maybe living quarters shooting off this way, and maintenance coming, sweeping back around. Maintenance. Engineering sweeping back around so we can get to these uh, hangar bays as well as the maintenance hatches. Probably want a maintenance pathway running the length of the ship as well. But... This means I'm going to get the bulk of my RP stuff right in here. I do want to make these, this, um, these, this engine taller, probably by putting two more under it. And then this leaves all this nice front room for systems. So, I have questions. I hope I have answers too. How big do I want this reactor to be? 
Because right now we're sitting at... 1.2 million power. And offices are going to be from here up, basically. Probably up to this, this dividing line is probably where I'm going to stop a hard limit on RP stuff. Except maybe the maintenance tunnel, which I want to go all the way to the front. And there is a door that needs to go away. Alright. So, do I want to keep it at 1.5? Or could I? Well, let's turn on some symmetry. Make sure that runs the line. It does. Okay. Don't need three reactors. Five, five, five. Could just make this a larger reactor. Can I get it to uh, one and a half? Let's try one and a half for uh, for power instead of just one and a quarter. See, that's one and a third. One and a half. All right. One and a half and a half. Okay. I think that works. So now I need shields. Now how am I going to do? Let's just start with the recharger. And how big is that bubble? That bubble is tiny. How big does it need to be before I consume the entirety of the ship? Uh, shields, or shields, shields, radius is 193, which should get everything in the ship, because it's only 250 diameter, or a whole length of it. Oh, yeah, so that gets everything, plus some, and what's my recharge is 21,000. Can we get that up to something better? Then again, how much energy is this going to take? So let's throw some capacitors down. Or some capacitators. Right, so, what am I pulling? 47% with the shields and thrusters running. Not bad. That'll give us 50% of, uh, of um, our engine to use for, for something. Come on, brain, work with me. Weapons. And other systems. This is 1.5 million shields. Let's, let's go for 1.5 million. They were at 1, 1 million capacity. 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 7. Alright. Oh, why not? Well, let's go for 6. Or 1.7 is fine. Oh, since we're going for 1.7, why not go for 2? Because our recharge is much slower, so let's... I go 2. To compensate for the smaller recharge, let's go for the higher capacity. Alright, that works. So, that also brings up the question, what type of def uh, chambers do I want? Uh, do we want to go with a reactor power chamber to... Um, to up by my power just squeeze just a little more power out of it. How about a mobility chamber? We definitely want an FTL chamber. I know that. So let's see how big of a ch chamber do I need this to be. Uh, where's my little pop-up thing? Okay, I don't have a little pop-up thing anymore apparently. Chamber size is 1550. All right, so. See, a 5x5x20, five by five by which is too big for that. 5x5x5 five by five by five is, what, 120? So, what, 40 of those? Does that work? Spacing. By spacing, I don't mean throwing someone into space, I mean determining space needed for something. So, let's plop that bad boy down, and... Why do I not get my little pop-up thing? Does that not happen anymore? 
Yeah, oh, that's too much. Uh, thirty. Fourteen, that's not enough. Oh, undo, let's turn off symmetry. Thirty-five. Those are conduit. Thirty-five, which are... Hundred and... I thought it told me I had... There we go. Okay, so... Seventy? Oh, let's put it. Math is not my strong suit. It's twelve. Sixty? Almost there, so we're going to go 65. There we go. 65 is just right. So, we want an FTL chamber with like two FTL chambers. Oh, how are we going to do this? I want this one connected here and this one connected here. All right, that works. So, just a standard jump drive base, and let's give it auto charge. Now, do we want Jump distance, how much does this cost me? Let's throw that there, go nine, and go click. That does not cost me very much at all, if anything. Okay. That works. I was also thinking about this being a multi-level bridge. I can bring the, the um, core here, and navigation, and all that, then having an upper level for like the captain and captain's office and all that jazz, maybe even another level. Uh, we're gonna see. Put like a radio tower on it, so it kinda looks like a uh, like the bridge on a cruiser or a cruiser, a um, aircraft carrier in the modern militaries. But that is an event for another day. Let's see, can I do this? And pop another one of these here. Like stick something like I don't know, like a capacitor there. There, and does that work? No, it doesn't, because it thinks it's attached to the. Okay. There we go. Specify that chamber for. Let's go jump distance. Let's level them up. Jump distance too, that's 20% of my chamber, or reactor capacity. Oh, where am I? There we go. Alright. Can I choose a block that does not highlight everything in the ship? There we go. So now we have some reactor capacity. Also, we're widening this a bit, so let's... Put this on here, and... Let me get some of that. And do a line of demarcation here. Not necessarily for the armor, but to let me know on this side where I can put chambers. In fact, I want to just... That's off. So what's, what's in the defense chamber? Defense. Yes, I just show the tree. Base armor or base shields? Hmm. Oh no, let's undo that. I do want a mobility chamber because I know this thing's going to be slow as snot. And just a top speed. Uh, just a plain old top speed will do just fine. Mobility changer, chop, chop speed, a chop speed. There we go. Uh, level whatever top speed, and let's throw in. Since we're here, let's just throw in one of these. go. Uh, what is it, you ask? It's a reactor chamber. Because with this, I can squeeze out 10% more reactor power. So 10% of, of uh, 20,000 is uh, 20,000 of um, 
Come on, brain. Two millions, like seventy something. Anyway, there we go. although I kind of wanted the ship to narrow, it'll probably narrow here, or it'll narrow this way. Uh, not real sure how that's gonna work out, but it'll work out. Even if I have to lengthen it just a little, this is gonna be a big frigate. I want to bulk up its rear end and bulk up its nose. I might have this big armory bit come down to like right here, like right where the the um, chambers stop. Don't know. We're gonna have to work on that. It is very much a work in progress. And I'm having fun, finally building a nice big ship again. Uh, makes me feel good. Anywho, I've been JW608, this has been StarMate, and I'll take you cats later.